Hi, dear colleague. If you are appearing for Bihar BSc exam in 2025, which is tentatively scheduled for the 2nd of May, then this video is for you. Are you struggling to prepare for this exam and wanting to find the right resources? Then find out what we have to offer. Now, in this video, I will tell you about all the things that you must know uh, before you start preparing for the exam, right from the syllabus. I will also go through the exam pattern, things that you should focus on, the things that we can provide you on the app to make your preparation very seamless and things that you must keep in mind when you are preparing with limited time in hand. Now, the first thing that I want to emphasize is the portion of this exam. This exam basically is a 400 mark computer based test. And here uh, the pattern is similar to need MDS. So you have plus four for the correct answer, minus one for an incorrect answer. But the portion is very limited. It is not very vast. There is not uh, a lot of general knowledge based component here. It is mainly the clinical subjects that you've studied in your final year BDS. So we have public health, uh, perio, oral, oral radiology and medicine, and then pediatric dentistry, orthodontics, prosto, cons endo, oral surgery. Right. So uh, with these subjects, plus dental materials and oral part. The focus mainly, I think, according to the exam setting pattern is to give priority to all the basic fundamental clinical things that you will take up in your uh, practice or in the post that you will be required to address. For example, when you talk of dental materials, so the basic dental materials, depression materials, crown and bridge materials, you know, amalgam or composite or bonding or cement. So all of these should be your primary goal. In oral path, the main lesions that you normally see, intraoral lesions, I think you should give more priority as compared to you know, other uh, extra oral or skin lesions, mostly pre-malignant lesions, cancers, screening, uh, developmental disorders, caries, all these should be your priority. Then in oral and maxillofacial surgery, you have uh, exodontia, so simple and complex both, trauma, minor procedures, uh, for pathologies, management of medical emergencies. This is something that you must be very familiar with, especially the emergency protocols. Then in periodontics, you need to know about caries, fluoride, oral habits, uh, management of medically compromised children, and behavior management. Uh, perio is also very seamless. It's not very advanced. It talks, it, you need to focus more on uh, gingiva and the periodontia, the basic uh, uh, pathologies and how to manage them, abscesses and uh, necrotizing diseases. It's not uh, very hi-fi, not a lot of instrumentation related. Okay, Public health, mostly preventive aspects, uh, epidemiology and uh, school oral health programs. In cons, you need to know dental caries and tooth preparation, all of it. Okay, Cons is important because it's more restorative and the kind of practice, the patients that you will be seeing will require a lot of perio and resto. So you must focus more on uh, the cavity preparation, on endo procedures. Endo procedures, everything should be thoroughly understood. Ortho, growth and development, occlusion and malocclusion, basics, fundamentals, not too much in advance. Uh, prosto, you are expected to know CD, FPD, RPD. Now they have not elaborated on what level of uh, details you must know, but I'm guessing that for FPD, you should know at least all the def definitive parts and the materials and the lab procedures. Okay. CD, everything fundamental you should know. Cast partial dentures, I'm guessing the components will be sufficient. Oral medicine and radiology, you need to know pre malignant lesions and conditions and oral cancer, systemic diseases and their manifestations. And uh, basics of radiation physics, not too much in detail. Now, I know that this is a lot if you have to prepare in one month, because if you have uh, the exam on the 2nd of May, which is the tentative date, then you only have very limited time in hand. Now, at this point of time, you cannot waste uh, a lot of your you know, time and energy in finding the right resources. And that's why we have compiled all of this data in one single app, and it is at a very affordable price. I will show you how the app looks. But Understand that this 400 mark exam is constituting 75% of your merit, right? So uh, according to their guidelines, according to the BRPSC commission, uh, the 25% is for clinical experience, which I don't think is in your head. That evaluation is something that you cannot change, 
but what you can address and what you can work on is the 75% of your preparation for this exam. Now, I know that these are all very basic topics and the problem that most of you will face is revising them because you may not have read them since a very long time. And all your other colleagues who are also participating in this uh, entrance exam, they are also in the same boat. So you might want to stand out a little and you might want to make sure that your preparation is a little better so that you can have a better uh, mark in your exam, right? Now, let me show you what the Bihar PSC pack looks like. So this is how uh, your app looks when you open it, when you log in, and then you will see the PSC power pack. When you go there, you have a lot of things that you can access. I will just run through how to strategically use these resources, okay? So on the top, you will see your login, okay? You don't need to worry about that. But below that, you have four columns, four sections. You have tasks, few banks, past papers, and mocks, okay? Tasks are basically all the specific uh, chapters or sections of the chapters that are important. Now, let's say you go to select subject. If you want to prepare, say, oral surgery, okay? So you will see anesthesia, orofacial trauma, cyst and tumors, exodontia impaction. All of these things are important for you to know. These are all the must knows and you must practice. And they will come with synopsis, videos, okay, and explanatory. Uh, videos. So if you say want to prepare anesthesia. So when you go to anesthesia, it will give you the chapters. When you open, you will have the video, you will have the classification, right? And everything that you must know with regards to local anesthesia. So this is how each chapter will be covered in detail. And then you can go to next and then more about physiology so you can filter out whatever you think you want to focus on you can uh, you know emphasize on whatever you think is more important for you i would suggest that you stick to a lot of basic uh, fundamental knowledge not too much on the molecular or not too much on the theoretical and factual aspect i would i would suggest that it's better to have a more clinical approach to this exam preparation so you can go through all the notes here okay and you can also watch the video explanations. So this is the video explanation. You can control the speed. Okay. These are very interactive videos. Like it's our faculty, they will speak to you. They will try to explain it to you like, like how you break down concepts to a child. So these are these these uh, videos, they are very helpful when you have to prepare. So this is how you will prepare for a task. And then once you are prepared for the task, you will take a test. So let's say, uh, let's go to some other subject to just show you oral path and medicine, right? Suppose salivary gland or bacterial tumor, take test. Now, when you take the test, it talks about mulberry molars and then it gives you four options plus four for the correct, minus one for the negative. There is a time. So you can just pick an answer and then go to next. Pick an answer, read the question, put next. You can review for later if you want, okay? And all of these questions, once you finish, you can review them together. So it will give you a summary. You have attempted whatever number of questions and whatever number of questions are remaining. Now, once you've submitted, you can, uh, review the questions, the answers, and explanations. So now when you come to your uh, performance, you can review your answers here, okay? And it will give you all the options, key concept. The explanation is basically to help you understand that topic. So if you have, uh, if you're reading about syphilis, so you will just read all the options, why the other options were incorrect. The key concept, the key concept is basically a brief uh, summary of that topic. And then you can review one by one. You also have the option to bookmark. You have the option to change the font size. Okay. So whatever uh, preparation strategy that you want to apply, you can apply it here in task. Then going back to QBank. So once you have prepared all your questions uh, from the list here, subject wise, you can go to QBank. In QBank, you have more questions. If you want to elaborate more on specific topics, 
for example if you go to across the videos so bottom holding and palette you it's very user friendly you see question display mode how do you want it in a book form in a focus mode or how many questions do you want per page and you can prepare simultaneously work simultaneously okay and this is very handy you can operate it from phone ipad laptop wherever you like now when you're watching these uh, videos make sure you look out for mcq videos you can see them here they are under each subject in the qbank so you will see that a lot of questions have been explained with a video right so here see this is a question on immediate denture and so you can go through the whole explanation then the next very good feature in the app is you can access all the past papers from the different psc exams that have been conducted in india and also you have access to inicd and aims papers so if you want to really upscale your preparation the additional question bank from previous year question papers is going to help you for example like here are all the previous year recently in the last 10 15 years whatever psc exams have been conducted you will find them here so if you go to rajasthan psc you will find the 2018 2015 2013 paper and you can take the test so the test this is similar to your q bank and task so you can go through all the questions one by one the marking system here you don't need to worry about that because it was it is specific to what marking system was used in that exam but you can follow up on all the questions through the previous year question section right and the next feature is mocks now these are the most important part of your preparation once you finish your tasks and you have uh, practiced more in the q bank and if you have solved past year papers from the other psc uh, exams you must take the mock exam now the mock exam for example if you are doing the bihar psc you select the exam here and you have 10 mocks to attempt okay in these mocks you have uh, all the questions which are focusing on your curriculum so in bihar psc these mocks are focusing only on your exam pattern on the exam schedule and the syllabus so let's say we take a test okay and then you can mark the question next mark the question you can review later i'm just randomly marking you have to go through each question solve it like you would solve in the exam review and next okay and then finish so when you finish again you will have the option to review your answers right and assess your performance and bookmark the questions and come back to the explanation there are all these illustrations in each of these explanations you can see them very clearly right so it is a very handy i i think uh no other app or product in the market is going to give you all of this material in one place so handy and like i said you can access it from anywhere so if you are still working in an in a clinic and you want to prepare for this exam or you are you know committed with other things in terms of your job or you know, preparing for neat mds but still wanting to apply for these psc exam this is this one amazing tool that will boost your preparation and of course you have access to doubt solving on whatsapp you know our customer support is very friendly and we have one of the best ratings on uh, google so all of these things i think uh, should matter a lot when you are picking the right resources for your preparation so if you have not taken uh, any you know step towards your preparation if you are still new to this whole idea if you are a little overwhelmed then this is the right place to start with because you have all the resources now a lot of you will also have issues with the time management mainly because like i said you will have a job and you have to prepare for the exam now this comes in very handy because it tells you exactly how much uh, you know uh, effort you need to put you have only very specific tasks you need to focus only on those tasks if you have any questions uh, if you have to revise anything you can just bookmark so you don't have to flip pages carry your books anywhere it is absolutely a one stop for all your needs and if you have not enrolled for the psc pack i think now is the right time you still have a few days ahead for your preparation and even if the dates of the exam are second of may then this pack will give you all the necessary uh you know uh, boost the 
uh, content that is required for the preparation. So don't wait and uh, make sure that you check the link in the caption below. Uh, you can also contact our customer support to find out more details on the PSC pack. I wish you all the very best for this exam and good luck. Thank you.